So let's start with the basics. The United Nations Convention on the Rights of the Child tells us that education should be free. And in Article 9, it goes on to give us details about the purpose of education, which it says should be about the development of a child's talents, personalities and abilities. It also says that ch children need to understand human rights and develop a respect for the, for, the, for the role of their parents and their views and also for the natural environment. We do here in Northern Ireland um, have still a long way to go before we can achieve that more holistic vision for education. However, the pandemic has brought into sharp relief that schools are not just about academic subjects, that children can get so much more from education and do get so much more for education that helps them understand who they are and what their strengths are. This understanding of the importance of education and schools for the emotional and physical well-being of our children and young people added to the New Decade New Approach deal has presented us with an opportunity for meaningful reform here in Northern Ireland. We can leave behind our divisions and segregations, whether it's on the basis of religion, gender, disability, or taking a test at age 11. We can leave behind our we know all attitude and work in partnership with our children and their families. We can embrace the strength of our communities and ensure that all schools are embedded within them. We must listen to our educators and about the realities of the system here, listen to their experiences and take on board their ideas and we can harness the optimism and social activism uh, uh, of our children and young people to drive the change that they need to see. It's not reasonable to expect any education system to make up the challenges of a wider society, particularly one such as ours that is emerging from conflict. But by the reforming the system here to reflect the changes that we need in order to secure a shared future, education in Northern Ireland can make sure that children and young people can be the active and authoritative participants in shaping a fairer and more just world. And I, for one, am looking forward to seeing that happen.